I'm Katie and here today at the National Space Centre we're in our rocket tower where we're surrounded by amazing rockets just like Thor Abel here. Now seeing as we're surrounded by rockets every day we thought it'd be a great idea to try and build a rocket and this is something that you guys can try and do at home too. All you're going to need is a few simple things. You're going to need things like sellotape and scissors, a tube, now we've got a plastic tube that we already use but you could perhaps use an old tin foil or cling film roll, some paper, nose cone, a set of fins and of course some colouring pens to decorate and name your rocket with. So it'd be a bit unfair for me to make this rocket as I know quite a lot about them. So instead I've got the help of my friend Emily from our venue hire team. Hi Katie. Hi Emily. So as you heard me say we're going to try and build a rocket today. You can use any of the materials here in front of you okay. and we're going to test that out by launching it afterwards. Perfect. Excellent. Good luck. Thank you. All done, Emily? Yep, ready to go. Excellent, let's take a look. It's pretty good, that's almost as good as Thor Abel. Well, let's see how it flies. Okay, let's go. So we're almost ready to launch Emily's rocket. Now you can have a go at launching your own rocket at home by using the tube you made to build it around. All you'll need to do is blow through that tube and watch your rocket fly off the end. 
Of course, just make sure it's clean first. But here at the Space Centre, we've got an actual rocket launcher to use. And instead of real rocket fuel, we're going to be fueling it up with air today. So Emily, if you'd like to come and fuel up your rocket. Okay. Fantastic. This is the launch box. We're going to press that Thank big you. red button after the countdown. Okay. Here goes. Three, two, one. So that was an amazing rocket launch. But if you think you can do better, why not send us in your videos so we can see? See you soon.